day and welcome to Currencies Direct weekly podcast for Monday the 6th of July. The local market defied the odds last week, with the RAND closing the first week of July 2% stronger against the majors. In what was dubbed a make or break week, the local unit came out top, but then anticipated data boosted the RAND to break below 17 against the US dollar. It was first quarter GDP figures that got the ball rolling. The much-awaited GDP figures brought some relatively good news, showing a contraction of 2%, while market consensus was for a contraction of around 4%. Attention will shift to second quarter GDP figures, though, as we wait to see the full impact that the coronavirus and lockdown has had on the economy. It did not stop there, though. Data out on Thursday showed the economy is regaining momentum with the easing of lockdown restrictions. The local unit is being supported by the first current account surplus in 17 years, as well as South Africa's manufacturing index rising to 53.9 in June, representing the fastest expansion in SA's manufacturing sector since August 2013. Elsewhere, U.S. non-farm payrolls surprised to the upside for the second month in a row, with an increase of 4.8 million jobs added in June against the 3.2 million expected. Also, the unemployment rate now at 11.1%, better than the 12.4% expected. U.S. manufacturing also rose to its highest level in a year as the economy reopened amidst the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Risk-on sentiment continues to prevail, following strong data and optimism of a COVID-19 vaccine. The University of Oxford's COVID-19 vaccine has shown encouraging results, stating, the vaccine has the right sort of immune response that will give protection and not the wrong sort. This was seen in phase three of human trials. Despite the signs of a global recovery, investors are still playing the waiting game with all eyes on President Ramaphosa following SA's highest daily increase of COVID infections on Saturday. South Africa has now confirmed more than 195,000 confirmed cases with a death toll just short of 3,200. Thus far, more than 93,000 people have recovered from the virus. Staying in South Africa, credit rating agency Standard & Poor also weighed in on Umbuweni's supplementary budget last week, questioning South Africa's plan to stabilize its debt trajectory. That's it for this week's edition. If you'd like to chat about any of your currency requirements, please get in touch with us on 021 418-0105 418-0105 or Currencies Direct Weekly Podcast. My name is Justin Ludovic.